Hello and welcome to the Mailbox Rogues Gallery. My name's Sean. And my name's Birch. And of course it is Christmas time and we are having a lovely little cosy fireside chat here in this little lovely cottage that we've rented far away in the countryside. Nice isolated place for us to just hunker down and record an episode about Mahatma Gandhi. Yep, the crackers have been pulled, the eggnog has been poured. We're just having a, a relaxing Christmas, like well deserved, I have to say. After after all these these tough years that we've been enduring. Yeah, yeah, especially now that we are on the run from the police and we're wanted criminals. Yeah, it really is tiring work being a fugitive. So this is great. This is uh, this is lovely, particularly after the last time we hung out at Christmas. What happened last time? Oh. Oh, you mean when you killed Santa Claus? Well, I think we established... In self-defence. In self-defence, as we established at the time. I think I'd feel more comfortable saying both of us uh, killing him. I mean, granted, I was the one brandishing the shotgun at the time, but I, I feel like we were both... Anyway, it doesn't matter about that. It doesn't matter about that. You know, it's in the past. It's in the past. It's all behind us. It's all behind us. Exactly. And now we can have a normal Christmas for once in our lives. Wait, 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 wait. What was that noise? What? Did you hear that? It sounded like it's coming from the roof. What? No, but... Can you... That... Wait. Sounds like f- footsteps? Yeah, I hear it too. No, 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 no. Shush, there's some scratching in the chimney now. What? There's something coming down the chimney. It isn't those chimney beavers I've been hearing so much about. At this time of year? No, true. They're famously summer animals. What the hell could it be? <laughs> ho, ho! Oh, my fucking head! Santa? Yes, it's me. I'm back, bitches. But I, I, I mean, we killed you. <laughs> oh, you can't kill the spirit of Christmas. It's eternal. Well, what was all that stuff about me turning into Santa Claus last time and, and us having to deliver all the presents at Christmas? And we had to, like, learn the spirit of Christmas to try and turn you back and everything. Well, I, I thought you guys could do with a little bit of uh, Christmas spirit yourselves. No, I don't buy it. You wanted a night off, didn't you? Yeah, come on, mate. Come on, give over. Well, maybe a little bit, you know. You know, I I, I, I do every Christmas, you know, for the the past 2,000 odd years. So, I mean, cut me some slack. All right, fair enough. I mean, what what are you doing here? We're not doing that again, you know. No, I'm still traumatised from last time. You're traumatised? Well, I'm the one who turned into the guy. I've still got those stretch marks from when my, my stomach inflated. Well, I wasn't going to say anything. The reason I'm here, Sean and Birch, is quite simple. I have a little favour to ask you both, and I was hoping, with it being Christmas, you would oblige. Well, with it being Christmas, we're kind of a bit busy, to be honest. Like, yeah. we've got our drinks, we've got our armchairs. We're just about to record an episode of our podcast about the famous rogue Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, We were just getting our microphones set up, as you can see, and... And then you barge in on us. I mean, I'm sorry, mate. We we helped you out last time, but uh, the way I see it, we're kind of even. <laughs> oh, no. We're far from even, Stevens. Like that show with Shia LaBeouf on the Disney Channel. Yeah, good show. Good show, that one. Yeah, I loved it. We're far from that. My understanding is that you boys are on the lamb, as it were. Who the hell told you that? Yeah, how do you know about that? I'm Santa Claus. I'm omnipotent. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Is that is that part of the canon of Santa that he's omnipotent? Anyway, moving on. Um, <laughs> the way I understand it, you two uh, former jailbirds. It might be in your best interest to uh, help me out. Be a shame if you uh, ended up in prison again. Know what I mean? Somebody with loose lips might inform the authorities. <laughs> oh, I don't like where this is going. Yeah, you absolute no, I don't like this. grass, mate. What, you, you, you dob us in after we helped you deliver all those presents. That wasn't an easy job. Look, either you do this for me, 
Or you both end up in prison again, which I'm sure would ruin your Christmas. Oh, it would be a bit of a downer, yeah. Yeah, it would be. It would be. So, here's your list. I've checked it twice. Right, uh, a list? What, uh, what are we doing exactly? There's a few items on here that uh, I need you both to, to acquire for me. And that's it, really. Just get those items. Come back. I'll keep the place nice and toasty warm for you. Finish off the eggnog. <laughs> Right, we'll make sure there's some left for us when we get back. Yeah, come on, g- give us a drop. We paid for that, but at least chip in. Yes, yes, you know I'm good for it. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. So can I just check, though, how do you want us to acquire these things? Are we stealing them? Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't call it stealing exactly. More taking without asking. Mm, okay, but this list you've given us says naughty list on it. So is this how you operate? You just steal from the naughty people... And then give those presents to the people on the nice list, is that it? It's, it, it, it's all very complicated, Santa Claus stuff. I, I don't have time to go into it now. Maybe later on. Off you pop, go on, shoo, get out. Stop shooing us out of the house. Yeah. It's oh, cold out here. Come off you pop, go on outside. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> right, well that wasn't a really good start to our Christmas, was it? Oh, God. I can't believe... Are we ever going to get a Christmas where we just have a nice, normal Christmas? A nice, normal time. A nice, normal Christmas. That's all we ask for. Maybe we should put that on our Christmas list next year. Maybe that's what Santa will give us. Oh, he'd probably spit on the list if he saw that. He might, yeah. He's got it in for us. It's really cold out here, though. Should we just get started on this list of his? Yeah, right. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, naughty list. Right, first one up. What? What does it say? He... He wants us to steal Will Smith's false teeth. Will Smith's false teeth? Well, for one, everybody loves Will Smith. What's he doing on the naughty list? I, I, I have no idea. and I, I didn't even realise he had false teeth. Does it give any sort of address for him? Um... Look, let me see that. What? Bel Air? You don't think it's... Oh, my God. I, th- I, think, it, I think it might be the, the bank's residence from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. We're here. Good thing he left his sleigh outside. Yeah, I didn't fancy the, uh, what, like, nine-hour flight with a stopover in the Isle of Man? No, same. I mean, I've always wanted to visit the Isle of Man, but, I mean, now's not really the time. No, no, we've got a job to do. We've got a job to do. Right, I guess we should keep our voice down a bit. It's middle of the night, he's probably... Smith clan are probably asleep. Yeah, are you, uh... Have you got a torch or anything? It's a bit... I mean, we don't want to turn the lights on, do we? That'll rumble us right away. Yeah, um... I'm wearing my, uh... My uh, Healy shoes with the, the lights on them. If I press my heel down on the floor, maybe we can like get a bit more light. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay. It's only gonna, it's only going to shine on the floor, I'm afraid, but, you know. That's all right. We just, maybe you just wave your foot about. Hang on, I'll, ju- I'll just lift my foot, right, and I'll press my palm against the foot so that the light goes on. So you're just going to do this all on one foot now, are you? I can't think of a better way of doing it. All right, well, just be careful. Whoa, whoa, oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, for God's sakes. We're trying to keep a low profile, right? That was probably a priceless Ming vase or something. Oh, God. I don't know. Well, let's have a look. Maybe he's kept his teeth in it. No, it doesn't look as though he did. No. Let's think about it logically. There's only one place he's going to keep his false teeth, right? It's going to be by his bedside. We're going to have to sneak into his bedroom. All right. I think this one, at last... Is Will's room. Right. Probably a good thing that him and Jada don't sleep in the same room because, you know, otherwise there'd be more people to wake up, potentially. Yeah, exactly, yeah. That was a close call back at the other rooms we went in. I was surprised to see Carlton in that bedroom at the end, actually. I'm telling you, the urge, the urge to wake him up and ask him to do the dance was almost too <laughs> much. I had the same idea. I had the same idea. Oh, God. Well, I got a picture of him on my phone sleeping. That'll do for now. <laughs> nice yeah you have to send me that I'll add it to my collection of sleeping celebrities <laughs> sounds good right but anyway the matter at hand I can see him over there in a glass by his bed right it's a bit darker in here I think he's got the blackout blinds would you start waving your foot around again alright 
Right, Birch, just be careful. Don't wave your foot too close to his face. Well, we need to see what we're doing, don't we? Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, just be careful, right? You're hopping around on one foot. With your... Oh, shit, you put oh. your foot in his mouth. Oh, fu- oh my God. Oh. No, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Look, look. He's sucking on it. Gently. God, he looks quite sweet there. I can't begin to describe to you how weird this feels. I mean, he just looks so peaceful. Sucking on that shoe. Yeah, 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 he does. Look, just grab the fucking teeth. We need to get out of here, okay? All right, all right. Look, look. I got him, I got him. Hang on, look. Birch. Look at me, right? Look, I got his four teeth in my oh, mouth. We shouldn't be fucking around with this. You got his teeth in your mouth. He's got my foot in his fucking mouth. We need to get the fuck out of here right now. All right, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, I'm definitely right. Oh, God. Uh, Sean, Sean. Yeah, what? My foot's stuck. It's like a fucking plunger. It's got some good suction, then. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I can't take the shoe off because I did it in a double knot. Oh, you're stuck, then. You're going to have to pull me. Yeah, I'll pull your arm. All right, you ready? I'll get. We'll try and do it in one swift but gentle motion, and then we can escape, right? Yeah, that, that's, that's fine. We, you have to fucking run for that fucking door as soon as you pull me away, all right? Yeah, all right, all right. Are you ready? Okay. One... one. Two, three. Ah! Oh, for fuck's sake, not another vase. Well, come on, I think he's waking up. We've got to get out of here. Oh, gee, yeah, he is awake. Uh, uh, loved you in Men in Black. Bye. Right, go on, quick. Keep my false teeth out your fucking mouth. <laughs> Whoa, that was a close one. Yeah, all right, you, you can take the teeth out now. We're out of the woods. Yeah, actually, my jaw was starting to hurt a bit. That was a close one, though, wasn't it? That was a very close one. We, uh, yeah, barely got out with our life. D- did you see, just as we were escaping, did you see what he was holding? I-, I swear that he was holding the gun from Men in Black. Yeah, and did you know that Jada could throw knives? I had no idea, but I do now. A very talented family, certainly. Oh, absolutely. But, like I say... We're out of the woods, we can tick that off the list. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's a good thing we made it to the sleigh on time. In fact, if we hadn't had the sleigh there, we'd be dead meat. God bless the sleigh. Right, look, um, pass me that list, let's see what's next. We've got, uh, alright, Will Smith's false teeth. Oh, you, you're not going to like this one. No? He wants us to steal Wilson from Tom Hanks. No, not not Wilson from Tom Hanks. What, what the hell's Tom Hanks ever done? I have no idea how he ended up on this naughty list. He's probably one of the most beloved people in the whole world. That's the thing. I mean, the, the false teeth of Will Smith, Wilson from Tom Hanks. What What the hell does Santa want with all this stuff? I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't feel good about stealing from these people, beloved people. You don't think this is like some kind of satanic ritual, but more of a santanic ritual? <laughs> It could be. It certainly could be. All right, well, look, it says here he lives on a Greek island, so if you could just steer the sleigh greasewards. I'll just pop it in the Santa Nav. Right, here we are, Tom Hanks' house. I didn't expect for us to have to outrun so many guard dogs, but here we are. Yeah, okay, look, this this room here, this one says memorabilia room. It's got to be in there, right? Oh, it's got, it's got to be. It's got to be, unless he sleeps with the thing. Right, it's, it's dark in here again. Uh... Right, look, I've got this Bunsen burner. I'll just get this on. Right, uh, where the hell did you get the gas for the Bunsen burner? Yeah, don't worry, mate. It, yeah, never never mind. Let, let's just find this bloody Wilson and get out of here. God, I mean, look look at all of this. Look at all this memorabilia. Well, he's got the, the hat from Forrest Gump and some ping pong paddles. The AIDS from Philadelphia. He's got that whole cargo liner from Captain Phillips. That, I, I thought this was a big room, but... Bloody hell, this is massive, this place. It's like a museum. But right, anyway, come on, let's, let, let's just find the thing and get out. Wait, what was that noise? That that sounded like the piano. There it is again. It did sound like a piano. No, no, look. Oh, shit, look down. Look where you're standing. Oh, my, oh my God, it's the piano from Big. The floor piano from Big. Oh, my... Hey, Sean, Sean, listen to this. Right, let me see. Let me join in. Oh my god. 
because yeah, you know what? This has gone from being like one of the worst Christmases to quite frankly being one of the best ones. Right, look, there's Wilson over there in that glass cabinet. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Right, how how do we get through the glass though? I have no idea. There's a lock on it, but I don't know where the key is. I don't think we have enough time to find the key. No, I think that piano has probably woken somebody up. Right, look, we're just going to have to smash the glass, right? What's the nearest heavy thing? Right, um, right, the boat from Captain Phillips is too big. That is too big. I don't know, I don't know, I can't see anything that we can use. Oh, oh, what about this? Look, he's got Hooch, the dog from Turner and Hooch, stuffed. Oh, you can't throw Hooch. Well, it's either this or that baseball bat from A League of Our Own. I don't know, I just feel bad about throwing... no time to think. Here we go. No, Hooch! Hooch! (laughs) Quick, grab the ball. Oh my, I am so sorry, Hooch. All right, this way, come on, the way we came. Hang on, I think I can... I can hear him. Is that that's not Tom Hanks, is it? That is, it is. What, what's he saying? Wilson, where are you? Wilson! Oh no, no! I, I, I've already heard him say that once. I don't think Wilson! I could bear to hear him shout that again. Wilson! It's making me emotional. I didn't want to have to take this from him. Wilson! <laughs> God damn you, Tom Hanks! God damn you! Wilson! I can't hear any more of that. I just let's just get on the sleigh and just get out of here now. <laughs> Oh, that was emotional, that one. That was harder. God, he He's earned those Oscars, I'll tell you that now. Look, that wasn't acting. That was real love for that ball. I, I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. We, we've got the ball. we got Wilson, I should say. Yeah, I mean, he has a name. Show the, show the ball some respect. No, I, I, no, I am sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Wilson. Sorry. Right, let's put him up front with us. Uh, right, so we've got Wilson the ball from Tom Hanks. We've got the false teeth of... Will Smith. I'm, I'm still scratching my head, like wondering what the hell Santa Claus wants with these things. Well, maybe whatever's next on the list will offer up some clue. Yeah, maybe so. Right, let's have a look. Oh, no. Oh, it's God. It's, it's not somebody I'm going to feel really bad about stealing from again, is it? Santa Claus wants us to steal Princess Diana's tiara. We're going to hell for this one. Birch, what are we doing here in this crypt? Doesn't Princess Diana live at Buckingham Palace? Oh, Sean. Um, this is a this is a, a terrible time to have to have to break this news to you, but I, I'm, I'm afraid the the people's princess is is with the angels now. What? She's in Los Angeles. No, 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 no. She's 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 dead, mate. She's she's dead. Oh. You wait. I mean, to be completely honest, she has been for the past 25 years. I don't know how you're just hearing this now. Well, but, I mean, did it make the news? I mean, I hadn't heard about it. Y- you could say it made the news. Look, we'll talk about this when we get home. All right. But the fact of the matter is, she's dead. I had a look on the Princess Diana fan club Facebook page, and it did say on there that the tiara was buried with her in her tomb, or crypt, or mausoleum. Uh, Which one are we in? I don't know. I mean, is this is the mausoleum in the crypt, or is the crypt in the mausoleum? I don't know where we are, but it's got to be somewhere around here. Right. Well, this is obviously like the family crypt, because there's a few different coffins scattered about, but but which one's hers? I don't know. At least we don't have to whisper anymore. Yeah. That's one thing, so we can think out loud. (sighs) Right. Where the hell would it be? Hang on, that one over there is covered in tiaras. Do you think that must be it? I think that's a good bet. Let's have a look. Oh my god, what the the fuck is that? It's a ghost. It's not just any ghost. That looks like... Prince Philip! Oh my god! Yes, it is I, the ghost of Prince Philip! What, what the hell are you doing in here? Oh, I'm guarding Diana's tomb, of course! From the likes of the roustabouts of you! Well, I mean, that's, uh, that's a very noble thing to be doing in, in your afterlife when you could be resting. Look, um, cut a long story short, uh, Phil. We've been tasked with doing a few things for, for Santa Claus. Do you know Santa Claus? Oh, me and Santa Claus go way back. Hang on. I thought the royal family and Princess Diana didn't really get on very well. That was quite famous at the time. So what are you doing guarding her tomb? Well, it wasn't really on the telly much, but myself and Diana really had quite a strong bond. Well, I mean, it makes sense... She, she was the people's princess, and you're a people, so 
stands to reason. Uh, Billa, anyway, uh, long story short, we need the tiara. Well, you can't just come in here and take it. Right, well, I mean, like, you're a ghost. I mean, what, what are you going to do? We just walk through you and take the thing. <laughs> it's as easy as that. I would try it, mate. I've got ectoplasmic powers. Oh, well, I mean, uh, this is a new top, so I don't want to get it messy. I, uh, okay, well, I mean, maybe maybe there's something we can do for you to get this thing? Well, there is a test. A test of the royal lineage. If you are of the royal line, you may pass through my ectoplasmic force field and approach the coffin. Are either of you imbued with royal blood? Um... Sean, do you have royal blood? Not as far as I'm aware. I don't think I do. I, I don't remember seeing anything like that on my birth certificate, so I'm, I'm going to guess not. No, I mean, what, what about if we just go get somebody else's royal blood? Does that... You just need the blood, right? Oh, yes. Just the blood. Right, okay. I mean, that. I mean that, that, that's very weird, but, I mean, we need that tiara, so I, I, I guess we're going to have to... Steal someone's blood? Oh my god, this this night is just getting... Just, I don't even know. Alright, well, um, I don't know where we're gonna... Where do you want to go? For the blood? Well, I mean, we're on the grounds of uh, Buckingham Palace. You know, a bit morbid keeping a graveyard in, uh, in their back garden, but there you go. So, I mean, I, there must be somebody in there with some royal blood. Alright, well, yeah, off we go. Alright, we'll be back... In a minute, Philip, I guess? Uh, Take your time, I'm not going anywhere. (sighs) All right, we got the blood. Uh, (sighs) Who knew that Charles still slept with so many teddies? It's it's weird. I'll say that, it's weird, but, you know, so is everything else that we've seen tonight. So let's just give the ghost of Prince Philip this blood so that we can get Princess Diana's tiara. Which is also a sentence I thought I would never say in my entire life. No, well, you know, you've said it once. Maybe you'll enjoy it. Maybe it'll become a catchphrase. But it is a bit of a weird thing to say. Yeah, well, I don't see it catching on like, was up? <laughs> yeah, that's the first catchphrase you thought of, is it? <laughs> yeah, off the top of my head. <laughs> was up. Well, anyway, we're back into the crypt now. Right. Hey, Philip, was up? What's up? Hey, <laughs> you seen the advert? Hey, hey, oh, nice one, Phil. But seriously, did you boys get the blood? Yeah, we got the blood. We got it from your son. Which one? The good one or the bad one? Um, I don't want the bad blood. <laughs> uh, I, I think it was definitely the lesser of two evils in this case. Yeah, no, we got it from Charles. Yeah. Well, I hope you didn't disturb him, but. He usually sleeps very well when he's with his teddies. Yeah, we noticed that. It's certainly quite a collection that he's got. Oh, I was buying him Beanie Babies every ten minutes, it felt like. Yeah, i, I got to admit, I'm pretty envious of that Beanie Baby collection. But anyway, we've got the blood, so we need the tiara, mate. Yeah, and actually, how about we do this? You give us the tiara, and then we'll give you the blood. That sounds good to me. Oh, all right, okay, okay. Well, look, as you can see, we have here... A collection of tiaras laid gently on the coffin. Now, they are of varying size and quality. Some are encrusted with gemstones, plated with gold. Some of them are made of wood. It's up to you to pick. Which one do you think is the real tiara owned by Princess Diana? Um, well, I mean, I... I mean, there's a lot of tiaras here. Presumably we get several guesses, is it? yeah? No, is right? no, just the one guess. No, and there are grave consequences if you get it wrong. Really? Uh, what happens if we choose poorly? You end up like me! Oh, God. <laughs> no offence, but that's the last thing we want. Right. Jesus Christ. Look, no, no, hang on. No, no, don't worry about this, Birch. Look, I've seen... Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, right? I mean, this this whole scene looks almost like it was lifted straight out of that movie. No, you yeah, you're quite right. Just swap the, the the cup with a tiara, and it's basically the same thing. We got we got the old doddery man there telling us what to do, <laughs> and, and and we've got a, a choice to make. Question is, which one do we choose? 
Yeah, but look, you, this is easy. You remember in the film, right? I mean, the bad guy goes for the most opulent one because he's like, oh, yeah, son of God, most beautiful golden one. But he obviously then gets the curse or whatever. But, you know, it's... it's uh, in Indiana Jones, it's like, oh, it was the most humble one. It was the one made of wood, the cup of a carpenter, right? Yes, that's right, yeah. He says, this is the cup of a carpenter, picks it up, takes a drink from it, yeah, and then he's, yeah. chose, he's chose wisely. Yeah, right, look, uh, so... Why don't you just grab that wooden one on the end? Yep, yep, good idea. Just put it on my head, yeah? Yeah, yeah, just pop it on. Right, okay. Now, hang on a minute. Now, a, a princess wouldn't wear a wooden tiara. But she was the people's princess. The people have lots of wood. That's true. Yeah, she... No, 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 wait a minute. When have you ever seen a member of this fucking family wear something made of wood? They're, pra they're practically bathed in gold. Look, I'll put it on then. All right, yeah. How does it look? Oh, oh, Sean, no. What? What's what's happened? I, I, I don't know how to... You look like a shredded testicle. Oh. Oh, I don't think I picked the right one then, did I? No. Oh, God. Philip, that, that was a practice guess. You give us another shot, yeah? Oh, I, I'm not going anywhere, and this is great fun. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, okay. H hang on a sec, Sean. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll find the right tiara. Right, let's have a look. Um... Right. I'm just I'm just going to have a lie down to be honest mate. I'm not feeling so good now. No, yeah, yeah. You you have a sit down. You you, you get you get your strength back, granddad. I I I mean, Sean. Right, let's have a look. Um so we have one made of thorns. No, it's definitely not that. Two pagan. Right, got this one. Uh, <laughs> no, I've seen this one before. This is definitely a prop from a Disney film. I mean, this isn't even a tiara, this is a fez. I don't know what this is doing here. Oh, sorry, that's mine. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry about throwing it. Um, right, that leaves us... I got a gut feeling, Sean. I got a gut feeling it's this one. Look, golden, jewel-encrusted, and it, look, you look on the inside of the band, it says Diana. Oh, yeah, that that's actually a pretty good guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I think this might be a good shot. Now, bearing in mind... Taking that one off of your head and putting this one on, if it's the wrong one, it could make you look even more decrepit. What have I got to lose at this point, mate? You know, I, I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Go on, pass it over, I'll pop it on. All right, cheers. Okay, all right, let's put the tiara on. There you go. How am I looking? Better or worse? Oh, you, you look like your old self again. Ah, oh, there we go, the power of the people's princess. Ah. Uh, did, did we choose wisely, Prince Philip? Bravo, young boys. You've done so well. Truly, you are the victors in this game of choice. <laughs> you had all this time in this crypt. You couldn't have, you couldn't have thought out what you were going to say to, to our people in this situation? Oh, no, no. I, well, you'd be surprised how often people come down here, to be honest. I'm mostly rushed off my feet. Oh, fair enough. Well, yeah, that's great. We got the tiara. Thank you very much. All oh, right. Well, don't forget, you owe me some royal blood. Oh, you're quite right. Uh, Sean, give him the blood. Yeah, yeah, here you go, mate. Here you go. Here's the blood. Oh, finally, I'm free. The curse is lifted. Goodbye. That was weird. That was weird. But, uh... I'm sure that won't come back to bite us in the arse in a future episode or anything like that, so let's just get the hell out of here. All right, agreed. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Ho, ho, ho. Mmm, all out of eggnog. Should I? <laughs> Why not? It's Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Another pint. Uh, this has to be the best Christmas I've ever... What was that noise? Ho, 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 no! What the hell? <coughs> oh, there's so much... <coughs> so much soot in that chimney. <laughs> Someone did... Whoever owns this place should clean it. <coughs> oh, I don't know... Uh, I don't know why we just didn't do use the front door. No, neither do I. What in blue blazes are you doing coming down the chimney? That's my thing. Oh, yeah, well, we thought we'd turn the tables on you, see how you like it. Yeah, how do you like that? I'll be honest, it looks a bit overdone. 
maybe I'll try a different method in future. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, I think we've all learned a lesson. There's another Christmas message for us. Yeah, there's a message. Don't go down the chimney. How's that? Anyway, look, we, we've got we've got the things that you wanted, okay? <laughs> oh, excellent, excellent. Bring them here, bring them here, Birch and Sean. Come on, don't be shy. Right, put it in the sack. That's it. Yeah, um, look, now that you've got these things... What's this all about? The tiara, the teeth, the ball? Yeah, this, this is all pretty weird. Are you, I mean, I like you're making a voodoo doll or what? I see. You want to know the secret of these three items? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we do. You're curious. I mean, we spent all night getting them. Yeah, we feel terrible about all of this, so, you know, at least you've got to quench our curiosity. Have a seat. Let me regale you with a tale as old as time. Many centuries ago, beyond the moon of Osiris, there was an aching, a longing within me, and I knew that something had to happen. And so, to cut a long story short... Hmm. Too late. Yeah, a bit late for that. I just don't like those three people. All right, I mean, having heard it explained, yeah, that makes a lot of sense now. Yeah, that was that was a pretty epic tale. Have you ever thought about publishing that? I mean, you could put it out as an audiobook. I mean, the voice is great and everything. It just... It, I was quite enraptured. Ho, 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 Thank you very much. To be completely honest, when I'm not making and delivering presents, I do dabble in a bit of fan fiction online. Oh, right, yeah. It, it shows. You've got a knack for it, definitely. Yeah, it's always good to have an outlet. Absolutely. So anyway, that's the reason that I wanted these three things. Right, great. So uh, we're, we're even now. Aren't we? Yeah, I mean, is this it between us, or are you going to be visiting us next year? Yes, 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 that's it. That's everything. For now. Hey, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't like for now. Sorry, I've got to go. Bye. (laughs) Just like that, right up the chimney. Oh, what a knobhead. Oh, well, that was some Christmas Eve, and I am exhausted. I am... Shattered. I was planning on staying up and watching Charlie Brown's Christmas on repeat, but now I don't think I even have the energy for that. What were you talking about? We were going to record an episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who are we, who are we talking about again? Oh, we were going to do Gandhi, but I don't think we've got time now. Oh, no. There's, yeah, there's not enough time to, to talk about him. Another time for sure. Another time for sure, yeah. Look, um... We've been recording some of this. We'll just slap that together and put that out. So, um, yeah. look, if you're listening, thank you very much for listening to the Mailbox Rogues Gallery and going with us on this magical Christmas journey. Um, if you want to find us on any of the socials, you can get us on Twitter at Mailbox Rogues, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We're at Mailbox Rogues Gallery. And you can email us at mailboxrogesgallery at gmail.com. That's right. And if you want to listen to the podcast, you can find us on Apple Podcasts, you can find us on Spotify, Amazon Podcasts, you can find us in a plethora of different places, including YouTube, wherever you listen to your podcasts. Yeah, and do leave us a good rating and review wherever you can, that really helps. It does. And share it with your friends too. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's Christmas. Share, share, come on. Right, well look, I think it's me and you should get our feet up on these armchairs. We deserve a nice... Oh, that bastard's drunk all our eggnog! Oh my god, that... It's no wonder the guy has a red rosy nose. Well, I just hope this is the last we ever see of Santa Claus. Oh, I hope to God it is the last time we ever see that Santa Claus. Alright, well, the person who owns this house is probably going to be back from their Christmas holidays by the time we're recording the next episode. We'll probably have to be back out, you know, living on the road. Uh. My friend Badminton Jones, you know, the fixer... The, the guy I met in prison, the fixer in my life. Oh, yeah. He uh, he actually did say he could get us a couple more jobs lined up. Does it sound interesting? Absolutely. We need some money in the pocket. And just a place to lie low, because we haven't been doing much of that lately. No. Well, so he said he can get us a uh, job as a couple of librarians. Oh. And, uh, you know, maybe while we're at it, we can record an episode about Ernest Hemingway. That sounds good to me, Sean. All right. Okay. Well, that's next episode then. That about wraps everything up. I'd just like to take this moment to wish our listeners a very Merry Christmas. I don't want to take that time to do that, so... uh, No? Goodbye. Oh, uh, okay.